Thank you. You not like that one? It's one way of putting it. Man, I was up all night making you that playlist. You shouldn't have, really. Man gives me a job. The least I can do is show him what's been going down since the Medici's left town. Not much worth noting, apparently. You want to try another? Nope. You know, said it was going to rain. They always say it's going to rain. Hey. Isn't that our boy? Mr. Grumbach. Mr. Jeff Grumbach. Who wants to know? My name's Brian Trevelyan. And? Well, maybe you don't know me, but I've been keeping an eye on you ever since the Metzinov deal last year. It was passed. I'm not FCA, Mr. Grumbach. I'm Senior Operations Advisor at Goldman's. Good. That's, that's right. We're impressed with the way you're putting things together over here. Uh, are you pushing me? That's the idea, yes. If you want to come with me to head office, we'll tell you all about your new role. I uh, need to be somewhere, I'm afraid. And so the negotiations begin. Frankly, I'd be disappointed with anything less. I don't think you want to be seen with me here on the doorstep, though. Why not step into my office over there? And we can arrange the time for you to come in. Why not? Why not, indeed? Say hello to Mr. Groombach, Chris. Hello, Mr. Groombach. Back to HQ. We're just setting a date here. Uh, I could do Friday. Friday's no good, I'm afraid. Okay. Mr. Groombach, you mind if I ask you a question? Okay. So our man here is moving down Riviera way soon. That's the plan. And I figured, since you're French and all, you could clue us into what they've got spinning down there. Music, you mean? I mean, a man's moving to a new country. You ought to know what his new people are listening to. You're a pop, I suppose. Johnny, maybe. Iglesias, dance of techno in the clubs. Better add those to the list. I've got records. You ever heard of them? Because you're beginning to sound a lot like one that's broken. You'll have to excuse him. He's still learning. Mainly when to shut up and listen. All young and impulsive ones. I find that hard to believe. <laughs> How about next week? To come in and meet. Monday. That won't work, I'm afraid. Well, I uh, suppose I could do tomorrow, then. Today is better. Today? Now, in fact. I can't. It's just... Uh... This is some kind of joke, isn't it? I don't make jokes, Mr. Groombug. Well, you don't work for Goldman's either. Man, that took longer than I thought it would. I thought you said this guy was shot. That's on paper. You never know what you're going to get in the flesh. Was it Roger? Or Grant? Maybe. But whoever it was, just uh, tell them I didn't fall for it. Okay? Here. For your trouble. I insist. What is that? Your health. And please, don't make me insist. <laughs> How dare you? Did you get the doors? Sorry. That's okay. We all make mistakes. Don't we, Jeff? You do work for Goodman's. Hear that? Yeah, I heard. Seems they got dealt that card after all. <laughs> ha ha. You're not joking, are you? No, Jeff. This is me insisting. Come on. You really think you'd be drinking something if I wanted you dead? is again the great French sense of humor Welcome back. Not quite the level of luxury you're used to, I imagine. But fit for purpose, because you know how this goes, don't you? Either you cooperate and get to walk away, 
Or you refuse. And I go to work on you and you end up telling me anyway. But the walking away part's not so easy anymore. So, which is it to be? Get me a laptop and I'll access my accounts. Right attitude, wrong answer. What? Where is it? That's what? Is that really the way you want to play this? I'm not playing anything. How am I supposed to tell you where it is if I don't know what it is? You know, your friend was begging to be put out of his misery by the end. My friend? What friend? He couldn't face life all messed up. It was absurd. And refusing to cooperate, he placed himself in a position where he was pleading for a mercy I'd only grant if he gave me what he'd refused to give me in the first place. When all was said and done, the only difference was... He died when he could have lived. And for what? A simple name. Jeffrey Groombart. And you're the only one of those in all the world. We checked. So please, why don't you save us both some trouble? All right, fine, you in. How's the part when you tell me where it is? And then what? I'll let you go. As soon as we have it. You kidnap me at gunpoint? Drug me? Threaten torture? And I'm supposed to believe that? Do you have a choice? How about you let me go and I bring it to you? Release you and wait for delivery, that's what you mean? That's what I mean. You can't negotiate your way out of this one, I'm afraid. Oh, funny, I'll give you that. I don't care what the kid says. Wait a minute. Why isn't he here? He's sitting this one out. I thought you said he was in training. He's taking over my list of people who pay me to solve their problems. And you're one of those problems, Jeff. So let's stop pissing around the fire here, shall we? Why? Because I work on commission. I mean, why is he sitting this one out? Things got a bit messy with your friend. And it turns out my boy's a little squeamish around blood, if you must know. Squeamish? Sensitive. I know what squeamish means. It's just it's not so good in your line of business, is it? He's new at this. But he'll get there. That's very touching. What do you mean by that? Just that in my world, when you start out, you're thrown in at the deep end. And if you don't learn how to swim right away, then that makes you a weak link. Did you get anything out of it? Nothing at all. Are we going after him? Nope. So what do we do now? Door keys. Now get in. Do I have to? I thought we stepped up in the world. We have. You are not getting out of it that easy. Cassette only, you know that. You remember his address? And that's why we're back in this piece of shit instead of the Benz, am I right? That's a year somewhere. Ah, here we are, down by the wharf. Archaeologists dug up a Roman amphitheater down there last year, did you know that? Yeah, well, they came by my place last night. And look what they dug up there. <laughs> are you seriously going to subject me to your crap again? This isn't my crap. This is us meeting each other halfway between now and prehistory. You don't like it, you shouldn't have taken that viral out of your ass and agreed to it. I agreed to try. And unless I'm very much mistaken, that's what I did when we brought him in. One journey is not trying. It is in my book. Yeah? Just as well as not your book we're playing from then, isn't it? Besides, I think you're going to like this one.